Right, hi guys, this is Lewis. I got a, a video for you here. Uh, kind of a requested. This is um, sort of an EDC item. This this is the thing I'm reviewing here. That is just for reference because this is the jet screen whistle, the ultimate survival technologies jet screen whistle, um, which I've gotten I got from Hieni. And I was just going to compare it kind of to this one and and talk about it as an EDC item. Um, the reason why you might want to everyday carry, that's what ATC stands for, Every, well, the reason why you might want to everyday carry a whistle, uh, possibly more in different areas, but if you are in an urban area, in an urban area that is, I, I don't know, you could use it for, in an extreme case, like if a building collapsed, right, and in, a, um, in an earthquake or something, and you needed to, you needed to be found, needed help being found, something like that, you, you might not be able to yell for help all the time, so, you know, that's one practical application I guess or I don't know uh, as a rape whistle or something for a woman um, and that's in an urban environment and obviously in a rural environment if you've got lost on a hike or something like that or um, you know if you if just generally you needed to be found if you needed help uh, it would carry a lot further and be easier to, to, to sustain for longer than just yelling screaming if that's the case maybe um, but yeah I got this from hieni.com this was seven pounds, uh, maybe a bit pricey for a whistle, but I'll I'll buy them both in a minute and, and, and compare them. This is uh, the decibels, which is like a measure of sound. I think sound pressure actually, but it's what a lot of things are measured in. This is uh, uh, what a lot of sounds are measured in. This is 122 decibels, and uh, the tone as well, I guess you'd call it, is it's supposed to be very piercing, like very shrill, to kind of cut over other noises, and to be. Um, you know, it gives like a more sense of urgency because it sounds like a scream. It's kind of like a, you know, well, I'll blow it in a minute and, and you can hear. It might not, uh, you might not know how loud it is um, because of the camera and stuff, but I'll do that in a sec. Uh, the advantages of the jet screen whistle over uh, a normal whist uh, whistle like with a P in it, you know, this has got like a cork little ball in there. It's called the P and that you need that to, to make the, the whistling noise in whistles like this. You know, just the standard like, coach's whistle or whatever, I guess. Uh, but the advantages of this, the jet screen whistle, over this one, is that because there's no P, uh, it, it, will work under, it will even work underwater. I'm pretty sure it will even work underwater because there's no P. It's just air being forced through and kind of like channeled. Uh, it will also work when it's frozen or in freezing temperatures because there's no P to get frozen. So it's a lot more robust. And because it's flat... It's easier to carry. You could wear this around your neck, and it would be flush against your neck, you know, uh, against your chest. And it wouldn't be as bulky. You could slip this into a pocket a lot easier. And the flat shape means that it's, um, you know, it's a lot tougher if you if you accidentally stood on it or something like that. It would be less likely to break than this one. The dimensions, or it, it weighs 0 0.3 of an ounce, um, which is about 8.5 grams. It's 2.3 inches long, which is 5.8 centimeters. Um, and it's about half an inch thick, it's about a centimetre thick compared to that which would be probably three, four centimetres thick at its thickest point. Um, and as well, before I blow it, 122 decibels, just in case you're interested, is um, it's louder than a Vuvuzela and a jackhammer at one metre away, uh, which are both about 120. Uh, the threshold of pain as well is 130 decibels, but the, the hearing damage like cutoff point in the short term if you're exposed to a noise over 120 decibels in the sh in the short term for like a, a couple of minutes or something like that they that can cause hearing loss and in the long term uh, any noise above about 85 decibels if you're exposed to it for hours or weeks you know in your job or whatever at a time that can cause hearing damage so this is just below the threshold of pain uh, that's kind of subjective but that's kind of um what it's generally regarded to be but anyway this is what the the ultimate jet screen was uh, the ultimate survival technologies jet screen whistle sounds like and it varies on how hard you blow to how how loud it is it's a very shrill and unpleasant noise that was nowhere near blowing as hard as i could um you probably wouldn't be able to pick it up on the camera anyway and you know get all the cats outside meowing stuff and neighbors complaining but anyway, this is what a, uh, a normal pee whistle sounds like. So it's kind of a different noise. Um, 
you know, this one sounds a lot more shrill, like a scream. And so if, if you needed help, it might be more uh, easily identifiable. And it kind of like, you know, it screams emergency a lot more, I think, than, than this one. And also, you know, you can have it in really cold weather. It's, uh, it's smaller, tougher, stuff like that. So that kind of justifies the price, <laughs> at least for me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like an everyday carry item. I have it if I've got enough room in my pockets, if I've got a lot of pockets in my trousers and stuff like that, or if I've got a bag. Yeah, I will carry this with me, just because it's so small. It's kind of, you know, uh, you could use it for things like if, if there's somebody a long, long way away from you and you need to get their attention, you could use this rather than having to yell. You know, just you can use it for things like that. But also because you never know, your voice might fa fail you at the moment when you need it most and there's an emergency or, you know, you need to um, use it for anything like that. So, yeah, that's kind of an everyday carry item. Maybe not for everyone, but it's it's something that you can have. Maybe not as useful. Um, not, it doesn't maybe have as many uses as a bandana, but, you know, it's one option. So, uh, th yeah, that's the comparison of the two whistles. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.